Uh, these pictures all week have been killing me. We were looking at a few pictures from our man about town, Phil Thompson's trip to Alaska Beautiful. recently. Unbelievable shots. I know you're, you're always on a different cruise ship. Yes. Playing. And so that's what this was for? This was amazing. Yeah, I was up in Alaska for two weeks. I was performing with Holland America. And really, it's just such mm -hmm. an incredible way to see Alaska. This yeah. time I got to bring my wife, which was a blast. So for two weeks, I was performing on the cruise ship every night. And uh, Okay, I have a question you, for you, though. Yeah. Do you have a professional photographer that follows you around? Your Instagram <laughs> looks like it's something out of, like, a magazine. Well, I, I do a lot of photography for my okay. wife's fashion blog, okay. uh, me and me and mine. But then uh, she's the expert at the uh, Instagram filters and all this stuff. So all she, right. she, uh, she's whatever a you need to do Well, I'm sorry, but you <laughs> could not you. take a bad picture in Alaska, okay? <laughs> Everyone That's looks true. gorgeous. So. Well, it looks like you had a great trip, had but great we're trip. happy that you're here. And this week, we're talking about about your picks for the best mini golf. Best mini golf. You know, you think about summers growing up, and I think about, you know, super soakers mm -hmm. and going mm -hmm. to the pool, ice cream trucks, and mini, mini golf. Yes. Yes. That's what summer is all about. So I've got four great picks right here in the Twin Cities. Okay. And uh, excited to share them. So. Okay. First up? First up, this is the, the quintessential Americana mini golf course. This is Putter there at Como Park. They've got a vintage streetcar as their clubhouse. You know, this is all about the really just classic mini golf. They've been around for 50 years at Como Park. They've got the castle, the windmill, the loop de loop. I mean, really, this is just fun American Cute. mini golf. Now, Como Park is it's free to get into, right? It, it's, it's free to get in. There is a fee for the mini okay. golf. It's a nominal fee to do this, but yeah, you can go to the zoo for free. Yeah. Afterwards, you can do both. You go to mini golf. Really, spend awesome. a day at Como Park. And this is really just a great, fun mini golf course. And like I said, it's been in the Twin Cities for over 50 years, which Very is pretty cool. awesome. And your next pick? Next pick up, this is the Lynx at Dred Scott. This is in Bloomington, just off of 169. This is, course is beautiful. Nine of the holes have water hazards. Um, <laughs> I love really, that. There's the waterfalls, there you see. Beautiful gardens. I mean, this is really wow. just beautiful. This is a new uh, mini golf course. Oh, look at him. <laughs> I would celebrate too. I mean, that was a great putt. <laughs> I love it. And you also say that Big Stone is on your list too. Big Stone. This is this is cool. This is more of a sculpture garden. They've wow. got these intricate sculptures and just amazing. Like, look at this. I've never seen a mini golf course like this. Hmm. This is all the way out in Minatrista, but worth the drive. Because again, you've never seen a golf course like this. And what's even cooler, they've got uh, really a mini petting zoo right there. They've got goats. They've got wow. horses. And it's it's set on I think it's something like 17 acres of land. And look at that! They've got wow. this giant bowl. Um, really, if you want to experience something not your typical mini golf, yeah. Big Stone is worth the drive. And out kids for. just love animals like that. I know my niece and nephew go crazy. Oh, amen. Yeah, <laughs> you get a little bit of everything. Okay, your final pick for Last us. Last but not least, this is probably my favorite. This is Centennial Lakes in Edina, mm -hmm. uh, right there off France Avenue. This is not even really mini golf. They call us golf in the miniature. Uh. Because this is real turf grass. Really? It real looks turf like grass. It. Do you have to wear real golf shoes? You don't have to okay. wear real golf. You probably could. But uh, again, real sand traps, real boulders. It's set around the lakes. All in all, it's over 1,600 feet of putting surface. Wow. So it's a little challenging. They say it could take up to an hour and a half to get through this one. Oh, so that's dedicated. But you know what? I feel dedicated. like my mini golf game always goes by so quickly because I'm so talented at mini golf. So I think sure. I could use the, ta the challenge. So this is a good challenge, <laughs> but beautiful course right there in Edina. They've got uh, bocce ball, croquet, oh. and the paddle boats too. So awesome day I out. bet you had a little bit of fun researching this one. This is this is right up my alley. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Well, Phil, thank you so much. And we're so glad to have you back from after your cruise in Alaska. Thank is there you. any place next that you're you're headed? You know, here in Minnesota for a while, so it's pretty good. good. Well, so. summer in Minnesota, there's nothing better. So take you a little it. staycation. Good deal. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Phil. Thanks, guys.